So, this is obviously going to make a video because I've got to get some of that YouTube boiler money. Um, <laughs> but this is a PS5 I bought on eBay. I bought it for £187 and £5 postage. So, £192 total. It's a digital edition PS5. And it's from a private seller. Um, so, as you can see, they're not selling anything else. And <laughs> Archie, you absolute beast. Archie Golden, you beast. Thank you, dude. Cheers, mate. What an absolute legend. 160 gifted subs in this channel. That's awesome, dude. Thank you, mate. You're too kind to me. You really am. Thank you, mate. Uh, so this says... PS5 digital edition spares and repairs. Turns on fine and works, but keeps popping up saying it's overheating. Fan was removed because it was broken, but not 100% sure if the fan was the problem. Two out of the three USB ports are broken, but can easily be fixed. I hate it when they say that. Um, the outside casing is in not too bad condition. Console only, no wires or controllers included. Comes in original box. Only selling due to, due to buying a brand new one instead of fixing this one. So I went on the profile before I bid on this and had a look at their um, other items for sale. And if we go to the sold items, you'll see that they don't generally sell consoles. So it's a private seller. They've only sold like you know a handful of items in the past couple of months. So, yeah, it should be fairly interesting. Overheating me there to find. Yeah, who would have thought? <laughs> but apparently it turns on, um, but it overheats. So let's, let's verify the issue first. Well, let's not verify the overheating. Let's just make sure it turns on. Come on. Oh, Ellis, you beast. Thank you, Ellis. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, mate. What a legend. All right, it turns on. Um, does it display? All right, so it does work. It does turn on. Actually, my port's a little bit loose, though. So, yeah, that was just a, that was just a quick and dirty verification. Um, yeah, that HDMI port's loose as hell. This has been dropped. Let's just shut that down. Damn, level 5 hype train. Can we smash the level 5 hype train? 7 minutes? If you've got Twitch Prime? Or if you've got Amazon Prime, link it to Twitch. Can we smash level 5? This port is damaged. So this console's been dropped. We've got a USB port damaged there. This port is definitely twisted. Uh, I'll show you that under the scope in a minute. But we've got a USB port damaged there. Apparently there's two, so yeah, that's damaged as well, so that's going to have to be changed. Um, this uh, front USB. And also, it's missing the fan. As you can see, it's missing the fan, but it does still have the warranty sticker. So, someone's took the fan out saying that the fan was faulty. So let's... Uh, Hopefully, get this fixed. Well, it should be. It should actually be a straightforward fix. It shouldn't be. There shouldn't be much reason why I wouldn't be able to get this fixed, unless, unless there's something majorly wrong with it. But that's very doubtful. Please, free SSD, free SSD, free SSD. Ah, one day I'm going to find one with a, with an SSD in it. Ah, asshole. Pop. Bounce out, you prick. That's what Travis's mom said. Boop. Test your reflexes. Boop. Nope. Fail. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, well. 
I'm so sad. The kind of crap I, I actually do, the kind of things I actually do just to entertain myself. Do you play a lot of video video games? No, all my time is taken up with this and um, obviously, you know, um, spending time with the family, looking after Cody and whatnot. I, I don't really get a lot of time to time to myself. When I do, I just want to sleep. If I'm being honest, I get pretty tired because of the amount of work I do. Oh, okay, okay. That's a wank sometimes. Ooh, that's definitely been dropped. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely been dropped. Need more MacBooks for me to do. <laughs> well, so you can break more trackpad, do you mean? Oh, by the way, I fixed your... Uh, I fixed your screw up on the trackpad. I'm going to bury one of these into the desk. Turn into a cup coaster. <laughs> Just going to clean out the chassis because that's going to be the cause of overheating. Now the question is, do I replace that or is it going to be okay? I don't know. I'll probably replace that. It's a bit snapped. I think I think it's going to be uh, replace it. Right, I don't want to be putting too many parts into this because it's going to eat into profit, but I think, well, I mean, at the very least, I've got to replace the um, USB port, and I don't have any of these USB 2.0 ports to hand, right? So, I'm going to replace this port, but I will keep, well, I'll replace this entire board, but I will keep this board because... There'll be a point where I'll buy some ports for it and be able to repair it. So this port's got a broken port on it. Or rather, this board's got a broken port on it. So I'll replace that. But rather than scrapping that board just for the sake of a USB port that costs pennies, I'm going to put it all to one side. And I'll fix that by replacing the port when I get some. That way then it's costing me less to actually repair this one. Right, there we go. That will get fixed eventually. And for now, let's just drop that there. There we go. And then we've got it. Decent condition front panel with a working USB. So we've got a USB port here which is damaged, as you'll see. So that one needs replacing. So I'll replace that with a brand new port. And then the HDMI port, as you can see as well, is a little bit mangled. So, well, it's more twisted than anything. So I'll replace that. And in fact, that entire port is a little bit damaged as well. Hello, Hello boy, just, just resubscribed for four months. months. Hey, Phil, how's it going? Keep, keep up the awesome, awesome streams and content. Thank you, Hell, Rob. I really appreciate that, mate. I'm doing well, thanks, mate. How are you? Uh, Ed1878, welcome, mate. Thanks for being here, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, so that port's really not in good condition. I can't justify reselling this console with this port like that so I'll replace that and I'll replace this port here as well uh, right 480 degrees Celsius at 60% airflow I love through hole components they're so easy to remove wow you can really see how bad that port is now so even though it displays, the right thing to do is to change the port as well, the HDMI port as well. Right. 
That should be good enough for that. I just realised <coughs> I just realised there's no BIOS battery in this as well. Has that just fell out on me or something? <laughs> Thank you, Slim Will. Cheers, buddy. And the answer to that is yes, you can. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Can we all just take a moment to bask in the beauty that is a very finely soldered HDMI port. Time for the next part of the quest. There we go. Right. Brand new USB port. Shall I make a sign that says Travis the Prick? <laughs> go for it, mate. Just clean up these pads from this side. There we go. That will do it. Let's clean up this mess that they've called liquid metal. Gather that up. There we go. Beautiful. Now we're going to start piecing it back together. Hopefully this will work. It work. It'll work, mate. It turns on and actually powers on, but. Just the ports were damaged and uh, liquid metal's a little bit splattered. But it, it turns on and powers on, so it's alright. Two replacement ports, no, sorry, three replacement ports later. If we count the front panel, there you go. Good enough. Good enough. Put some fresh stuff on Phil. 
that looks like ass. Oh no, it just had uh, IPI on it, mate. It oxidizes with IPI. It always it always goes that colour. I try you don't listen. Never. <laughs> it always goes that colour when I put IPI on it, but I've never had an issue with it. Plus I'm too lazy to open my fresh pack. <laughs> he never listens. What? There you go. There's a replacement fan. Do 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 do. Ah, screwed the warranty sticker up. Oh well. I wanted it straight. One boomerang. Ha ha ha. Do be do do do. You also need to take your Halloween mask off. Well, thanks, mate. Thanks for that. <laughs> All right, that turns on. Let's. Uh... Well, first and foremost, grab a micro USB. My PS5 controller has been missing for weeks now. Can't seem to find it. So, I'll have to connect up a PS4. Or oh, PS4 controller, rather. Hey, front USB works. How about the back ones? Uh, back ones I'll check on data, actually. Well, I'll check them all on data, to be fair. Thank you. Right. Let's run through setup. I think my internet's having a few issues by the look of it. Seems to be the connection's working. Um, it's working on wireless controller anyway, so. All right, let's just test the back ports. That could be a software glitch. There we go. So, there's one. And the other port. Yep. How about the front port for data? I don't think that will work on the front port. I think that's for sync only. Could be wrong. Is that going to work? Yep, front port's working. And let me just grab a USB C dongle. Don't know if that'll work for data. There we go. Boom. That works. That's um, happy days on that. It's not a bad little job. You know, £190, I can sell it for about £350. Um, if I put a controller with it. It's not going to be much profit, but it's going to be profit nonetheless. Um, that'll be... Like, Any time I sell a PS5 or something, sell it on Facebook. The person can come and collect it in cash and then they can't open no chargebacks. And then if they want to try and scam me, they've at least got to try and do it face to face. You know, it's uh, it's just less risk that way. So I'll literally get Sarah to list that on Facebook. But yeah, happy days on that. I'm I'm more than happy with that. It's uh, not a bad little boy.